Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Queen Esther. If you've been here from the start, well, welcome back, all right? This is a marriage prophecy. This is what I heard the Lord say to me today, this morning. He says, it's called, I don't even know what it's called. I'm just going to tell you what he said. <laughs> Their spouse sees them now, okay? I'm shining the light on their hearts for my daughters. No more coming home. It's welcome home. Love is in the air. And I saw like gold counter confetti hearts. He's pressing that call button. They are showing up in a new way. And then the Lord brought the scripture to me delight yourself in the lord and he gives you the desires of your heart then he says the desires are showing up out of nowhere expect and have a cinderella story not until that do us part and i have a video in the paid membership explaining about vows trim their lamps for the arrival Listen to this very important. Listen to what he's saying. He's saying to trim your lambs for the arrival. Trim your lambs for your spouse that's coming back. Be it, I was like, Lord, what do you mean? He said to be intentional with their words. Bring grace. Love them with grace. Don't remember the former things. It's the new. You are the present. All right, God is saying, you are the gift to them. You are the present. Allow them to enjoy the unwrapping. Don't bring up no past and, oh, why did you leave three months and all of a sudden you're going to show up and think I'm supposed to talk. No, we're not doing that. God is saying to give them grace and allow them to enjoy the unwrapping. You're the gift, okay? You're the present that they are unwrapping. He said, be ready for the marriage. They are coming back with an intention. They ain't coming back to play games and beat around the bushes. They're coming back straight with an intention. Intention to find love. Happily ever after. Give them your yes. I was like, Lord, what do you mean? He said, don't beat around the bush. Don't be like the world playing hard. Receive their love. You know, women are, well, I'm not even going to say women. Not everybody's like this. You know how the world tell you, oh, play hard to get. No, God is saying, no, 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 no. Don't beat around the bush and do that thing. Leave that for the world. You've been waiting for this. You've been praying for this. God, bring him or bring her. The person is here now. Give them your yes. Don't beat around no bush because you know you want this. Yes, I'm ready for the marriage. Yes, I'm waiting. You know, you're not talking about no past. That doesn't exist no more. This is brand new stuff. You hear me? Hallelujah. He said to receive their love. And I heard the Lord say, suddenly, one phone call, one text message, one DM will lead you down the aisle. The first will be last and the last will be first. I was like, Lord, what do you mean? <laughs> he said, you will be married before others who were engaged before you. You know, because somebody will be like, oh, my friends are engaged and I am still don't even know who my spouse is. He ain't even back yet. But the Lord is saying, don't worry about it because you're going to get married first. Even though they got engaged before you. You're going to be married first, right? He said, you will be married before the others who were engaged before you. That's the beauty of having it. You have a marriage, not an engagement. So don't be jealous of your friends in the world talking about, oh, they engage. That's engagement. Lord is saying, God is saying you have a marriage. Hmm. A lot of you are comparing yourself. Oh, I, and I'm not going to lie. I was like, man, all my friends in school are married. Like, what's up, Lord? <laughs> and I always hear the Lord say, um, the first will be last. I, I don't see it like that. Don't, the, the, if you're doing that, stop doing it. All right? God have a marriage. God is giving you this marriage. That's something that some of them just enter in without anything regarding God. So your marriage is different. All right? Don't compare with those regular people. All right. 
he said, you have a marriage, not an engagement. Marriage keys are being released. Your spouse comes with a house. Some of you are probably in need of a home and stuff like that. But the Lord is saying, some of you, your spouses have houses. So you're going to be living with your spouse in that house. So that's how God decided to bless you with your own home. Not everybody, some of you, right? He said, marriage bring blessing. You're not just going into marriage just to marry. You are a blessing. You are this person gift. Okay, I'm talking to the daughters here. You are his gift. You are his present, right? Allow him to unwrap you and enjoy the unwrapping. <laughs> no, I'm just, I just, re okay, this just hit me. Holy Spirit, you're funny. <laughs> he said be the bride in style this season have the wedding you desire and then he start singing here comes the bride all dressed in white and then he said sila as soon as he said sila i remember i was watching kenneth copeland and the guy was explaining what sila mean it means to stop and go back to what you just read and meditate on it so listen to the prophecy again. I'm going to read it one more time. No in between. I'm just going to flow. The father said, their spouse sees them now. I'm shining the light on their hearts for my daughter. No more coming home. It's welcome home. Love is in the air. I saw a vision of hard confetti. He's pressing, he's pressing that call button. They are showing up in a new way. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. The desires are showing up out of nowhere. Expect and have a Cinderella story. Not until death do us part. Trim their lamps for the arrival. Be intentional with their words. Bring grace. Love them with grace. Don't remember the former things. It's the new. You are the present. Allow them to enjoy the unwrapping. Be ready for the marriage. They are coming back with an intention. Intention to find love. Happily ever after. Give them your yes. Don't beat around the bush. Don't be like the world playing hard. Receive their love. Suddenly, one phone call, one text message, one DM will lead you down the aisle. The first will be last and the last will be first. You will be married before others who were engaged before you. That's the beauty of having it. You have marriage, not engagement. Marriage keys are being released. Your spouse comes with a house. Marriage bring blessings. Be the bride in style this season. Have the wedding you desire. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. Sila. So, this is a very, very beautiful word, all right? He's saying the spouse see you now. He sees you now. It, he knows it's you, right? He's shining the light on their heart for you. No more... No more, he's coming home. He's coming home. The father is saying, it's not no, he's coming home anymore. It's welcome home. Love is in the air, right? And he's celebrating with those confetti's heart. And he's saying, this person is pressing that call button. And they are showing up in a new way. Delight yourself in the Lord. He's saying because you delight yourself in him, he gives you the desires of your heart. And these desires are just showing up out of nowhere, right? Expect to have a Cinderella story, not until death do us part. Let me, let, me, let me explain this. God reveals, give me a revelation regarding, you know, the things they, the pastor read before you get married. God says to choose life, not death. So when you're saying these things, you're not going to, you don't talk about no, until no, no death do us part. God is saying he wants you to have a, a happily ever after. I don't want to go too in depth in that, but the words, pay attention to the words. God doesn't want you to say until death do us part. Expect and speak 
forever, all right? Happily ever after. All right. Like I said, in my marriage, in the, the membership, I, I literally break down and explain exactly what it means. All right. Trim their lamps for the arrival. Trim your lamps. Like, be ready. Like, think of the virgin. Make sure there's oil in your life. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're emotionally ready. Don't be intentional with your words. Be graceful with your words. Don't throw things from the past in their face. Don't talk about no past. Hurt. Those things doesn't exist no more. This is brand new. You hear me? He said to love them with grace. Don't remember those old things. It's the new. He's saying you are their present. You are a gift. Okay. A wife is a gift. Know that. And he's saying to allow them to enjoy the unwrapping. Allow them to really enjoy like, wow, this is my wife. How did I not? Like, I'm glad I come to my senses. Hear the word she's speaking to me. Like, they're probably coming back expecting you to be angry and say no. But you're giving them love. Th that's what the father saying. Give them love. Love on them. Okay. Hallelujah. He said to be ready for the marriage. They are coming back with an intention. If they come and say... All right, I apologize. Do you want to get married? Oh, we have a lot of things to work on and to work through because you did this the last time. No, 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 sister, we ain't doing that. Okay, yes, I'm ready. I do because what? You create your love story that you want and that's what you're going to get. We ain't dwelling on the past. The past doesn't exist no more. This is new, okay? Hallelujah. He said they are coming back with an intention to find love. For their happily ever after. They're coming back for a wife. Okay. They're not just showing up to talk to you and hang out. No. They're coming back to marry you. So the Lord is saying. Give them your yes. Don't beat around the bush. And don't be like the world playing hard. You know you want to marry the man. The man is pouring out his heart to you. Now you're trying to be like. Oh. I'm going to make him work for it. Like the world tells us. Like the world tells you. Do not take advice from the world. Okay, I did that before. Nope, don't do it. He, God is bringing him back. You're not, there's nothing, nothing bad never happened in the past. We, we, we remember those former things no more. So therefore, this is brand new. He asked you to marry them. Yes. Oh, well, we have to work. No, you don't have to work on nothing. You're, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's new. There's no hurt. There's no past. There's nothing. It's new. It's brand new. You have exactly what you want. Those are the things you've been declaring, so you have it now. Receive it. All right? Hallelujah. And he's saying, suddenly, you're going to get that phone call. You're going to get that text message. You're going to get that DM. And this will lead down to the aisle. This will lead to marriage. They're going to come back with the intention of marrying you. They're going to call you, message you, DM you, whatever. And this one thing is just going to lead you down the aisle for your marriage. All right? And he's saying, don't worry about people who's already engaged before you. They have an engagement. You have a promise of marriage. So you're getting married. You're not just going to be engaged for five years and nothing after that. No. It's going to be sudden marriage. It's going to be quick. All right? And there's blessing attached to your marriage. And he's saying to have the wedding you desire. Be the bride in style this season. Have the wedding you desire. And I feel like he's saying some of you really, really want like a fairy tale wedding and stuff but you're probably looking at the money but he, he wants you to have the faith for it you ain't got to worry about no money you need faith all you need is faith like, i believe i'm gonna have this wedding is done you don't kill up yourself about it i promise you god bring everything to you all right and just listen to this word again and really let that sink in your spirit They see you now, like the literally, God shine the light on their heart. It's you. They know. All right. So you need to start praising, start celebrating. No, don't, don't, don't ask God where he is and how long it's already done. You already have it. All right. I pray this prophecy bless you because it sure bless me. <laughs> Celebrate. All right. Have a beautiful day. Bye.